Today at shopdap.com, we're going to be talking about wheels smoking while you're driving. Okay, so today we are looking at Nathan, our video guy's TT. He had been driving down the road and noticed his wheel was smoking. So anytime you have a rear wheel that's gonna be smoking under you know, any circumstance, obviously you shouldn't be driving your car for any extended period of time. Maybe if you need to get where you're going, then you have to determine where the smoke is coming from. So in this case, uh, it appears as though the smoke was coming from his brakes. Uh, if you take a look, there's actually gonna be more brake dust here on this side than the other side, and these wheels were recently cleaned. So when you compare them to the other ones, there's a little more brake dust on these. Now, after looking at them and raising this car up in the air, you can see that this tire does move pretty freely. So when he first mentioned this issue to me, that it was either an issue with the uh, brakes binding, the caliper actually binding, the slides on the caliper binding, which because it's a single piston caliper, the, the, the caliper slides back and forth. So the slide issue or with your emergency brake cable. So uh, my guess is that one of those were previously an issue and, and obviously has now freed itself up. We are going to take this car apart just to disassemble it, go over a few things uh, and see if we can identify maybe why it was happening and if potentially it's something that we can resolve quickly then we're going to get everything kind of lubed up and and cleaned up so we can determine if it's going to happen again or prevent it from happening again all right we're going to take these wheels off so that we can get to our calipers and inspect them so as we look at what we have going on here obviously we have our rotor our caliper a carrier and then the e-brake cables attached to that. What we're looking at with our brake pads is to see the wear pattern. So what we're looking at is to see exactly what's going on as far as the amount of wear inner and outer. And so what we do is look at our pads and inspect them to see how much wear we have. So it doesn't appear as though anything seems majorly obvious, except for it kind of seems like maybe, I'd have to measure them and once we got it off, but it looks like maybe the outer pad has uh, more wear than the inner pad, which is not normal for uh, for, cal for any single piston calipers. Normally you're gonna see the inner pad wear faster than the outer pad because when it pushes from the back, it hits the back, the inner pad first, and then it kind of pulls it in. So it is possible that something was binding on this, which would cause that, and maybe, um, maybe this thing isn't moving properly. This pad does seem to have some play which i wouldn't really expect necessarily um, so it may actually be bound up and just happen to be far enough away now that it wasn't stuck anymore now i'm going to take this caliper off and inspect this we're going to be checking the slides check the the piston i am planning to retract this piston uh, of this caliper just to make sure that it's moving freely and if it was bound up that should free it up Okay, so we look at these slides here. Now these are boots here and you should see this thing move pretty freely, upper and lower. And they do seem to. And what I did is pop that boot off and then pulled it back and you can see they're kind of gooped up there. So these have been lubricated probably previously. So I don't suspect that, that this is gonna be the problem. So we're gonna look at these brake pads and then this caliper and the cable as our other options. All right, we're gonna take out these rear pads just to compare them. So let's go ahead and check them out side by side. All right, so we have our outer and our inner, and it does appear as though the outer pad is a little bit more worn than the inner. It isn't massively different, but it certainly does seem like there's something, something that may be going on, but it doesn't seem to be a huge deal. Now, that may be something that is uh, gonna be, was temporary, and that's why there is a slight wear difference. Uh, but we're going to investigate further to see what else we got going on. Now we're looking at the caliper. I wanted to uh, do two things. Uh, first was to look at the piston on the caliper. I was going to retract it just to see, make sure it went in and out freely. But then I pretty much have figured out this is almost certainly what's, what happened to cause this issue and why it's not uh, an issue now. So this brake line right here, this is the brake line uh, for your e-brake cable. This is a stainless steel cable inside the sheathing that runs all the way up to your e-brake cable. When you pull that, if you look while, while I pull this, your cable should be stuck to this housing. But if the clip is missing, like it is, if you pull it, it could easily get stuck on the edge there. So what probably happened is Nathan was driving and 
had the cable, tried to release it, but it was all jammed in place. And so it wasn't able to release the brake caliper properly and that's why it got hung up. And here we are on the driver's side, just to give you an idea of what this clip looks like. Here is the clip we're talking about. Again, it keeps that cable in place so that when you move it, it doesn't ever get out of place. And this missing clearly has caused a small issue here, uh, or I guess a major issue potentially. And once we get a new clip for him and get that thing popped on there, it should resolve this issue. I am gonna retract this piston just to make sure that, that uh, it does move freely and make sure that this is indeed the actual issue. I suspect it almost certainly is. Uh, and then we'll put this thing back together. And always make sure you pump the brakes after you retract the piston. We do have our special tool here for anybody not familiar, Volkswagen Audis uh, require you to push and turn the rear calipers in at the same time. Otherwise you will not be able to get this thing in. The fronts just push straight in but the rears need to turn in while you push. So uh, we're not pushing, I don't need to push it all the way in, but it does appear to be moving pretty freely. This thing did not, this was not difficult with the tool at all. So uh, again, that the piston moves freely, our slides are good. We, saw, we found this clip missing. That's almost certainly why we had our issue here. So we can reinstall this and, and then uh, get our clip for this car. Thank you so much for watching our video on diagnosing this car with a stuck wheel. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it.